You're in touch with Kaleidoscope. Glad to have you with us today. You know, the month of May is Stroke Month. And here in Cleveland, the American Heart Association will host its annual luncheon. Vascular neurologist Dr. Sishan Kawaja of the Cleveland Clinic and stroke survivor Ernest Williams are both here to talk about the event and about Ernest suffering a stroke at the age of 26 and recovering from that. Glad to have you with us in more right. ways than one. Thank you for having us. We're going to get to get to get to you in just a second, but okay. let's begin with Dr. Zishan uh, Kawaja, who's a vascular neurologist with Cleveland Clinic, and uh, here talking about stroke and those kinds of things. And I know you're kind of representing the American Heart Association because there's a tie, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. You know, stroke is a medical emergency. It's uh, the fifth leading killer in the United States and the number one cause of long-term disability. So it's very important to get stroke awareness out there. What happens when a person has a stroke? Well, basically, there's an interruption of blood flow to the brain. It can be because of a clot or it can be because of a ruptured blood vessel that causes bleeding in and around the brain. Uh -huh. What causes that? Well, there's a lot of risk factors for stroke. Uh, there's you know, hypertension, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, uh, sedentary lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, in women, there's some unique risk factors such as migraines, pregnancy, oral contraceptive use, and even hormone replacement therapy. And you can be young and have a stroke. Absolutely. Because the man you bring with you today is 26 yes. year old, was 26 at the time you yes. had a stroke. Ernest Williams, tell me about that now. Um, when was that, by the way? It was actually the day before my birthday. Um, I was in my apartment for two days. I didn't know I was having a stroke. I thought I just had a sinus headache. Um, until on my birthday, my mom had called me to tell me happy birthday. And I said, you know, mom, I have a bad headache. I'll call you back. <laughs> Not knowing it was my birthday. Yeah. Um, she called me back about four hours later. I told her I still have a headache. I, you know, I'll talk to you later. She said, you know, do you want me to come and get you? Because at that time, I was living in Akron. Um, so it would have been a little time for her to come pick me up. And I was like, you know, I'm fine. I'll call you back. Five minutes later, I said, come and get me. Um, you were having a stroke, and this yes. was in the year 2011, right? Yes, a few yes. years ago. Yes. And how are you doing now? I'm doing great. Mm -hmm. Doing great. Doing that, was, that was four and... years ago. You, you're, uh, you're 30 years old now and 29. doing okay. 29. 29. And we're not pushing you. <laughs> okay. right, I'm 29. <laughs> okay. Holding on at 29. But you're yes. doing well. I'm doing great. Yeah. How do, you, how, do, how do you react to this when you hear his story? You know, I mean, stroke is a medical emergency. We really want people to recognize, uh, you know, the warning signs. So we like to tell people to think fast. Mm -hmm. You know, so F stands for face. Stroke can cause weakness or numbness in the face. Sometimes you'll see a droopy mouth, maybe some drooling coming out. A stands for arm, so you can have weakness or numbness in your arm or leg, mostly on one side. S stands for speech. You can have some slurring of the speech, difficulty getting your words out or even understanding. And T really means time to call 911 because, again, it is a medical emergency. Yeah. I know you're having a big luncheon where we're going to talk about these kinds of things and raise some money for the American Heart Association as it, as it tries to get the word out on stroke. And that's going to be on Saturday, uh, May the 2nd, at the Embassy Suites on Rockside, Road, Rockside Woods Road in, in the community of Independence. Uh, Saturday, May 2nd, it's a luncheon. starts around the 11th. 11.30, noon hour. What do you want people to do? You want people to, to buy tickets to this, don't you? Absolutely. It's very Definitely. important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, if, and if they can, they can go to heart.org slash Cleveland, heart.org slash Cleveland, and you can get more information, or you can telephone 216-619-5156. I got those numbers on the television screen. You, you are... Have you changed your life any as a result of what happened to you when you had a stroke at the year, age of 26 uh, four years ago? Yes, I changed my diet, um, exercised more, um, and just, I did different, um, there's a website called Luminosity, uh -huh. I did different brain games to get my brain back to, back to where I was before I had the stroke. Yes. So yeah. it helped me to get you back to, um, to make your brain to want to wanna use it more because when you have the stroke, um, you basically lose the sales, so you have to get your skills back again. And you're working, and you use your brain every day. Of course, you every use day. we all use our brains every day. <laughs> yes. People are walking around. You're working as an electrical engineer at NASA, NASA yes. Glenn. Yes. And everything's okay. Everything's great. Your, your, your health is, is doing okay. Yes, I am. There is success then. So if we catch this early. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Is um, that key? Is that key? Yeah, time is brain. You know, you lose about two million neurons a minute. So the earlier that we can get to you, um, then the faster, you know, the better the chance of having a more complete recovery. He talked about his diet, and he talked about he does not smoke and mm -hmm. he talked about things like that what's your recommendations for those of us who are trying to hold off having a stroke we don't want to get there in the first place I think primary prevention is huge and I think he's doing the you know the, the exact right thing I mean you have to watch what you eat you have to get regular exercise 
Uh, really, it's maintaining a very healthy lifestyle. And if you have any one of the risk factors like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or even diabetes, or if you smoke, it's important to follow up with your doctor to get those things screened. What about your family, your family history? If oh, somebody, family history. If your parents had something. Absolutely. I mean, uh, there are some genetic components to stroke. Um, and if that applies to you, then it's even more important to follow up with your doctor to make sure all of your modifiable risk factors are addressed. Let's give it a good plug. Once again, it's going to be Saturday, May 2nd. This is, this is the American Heart Association's uh, luncheon to raise money for, for, for education about, about, about stroke. And Dr. Edgar Jackson, my good friend, medical doctor Ed, Edgar Jackson, is going to be honored at that, this event. We'll yes. give him a good plug, too. One of, the, one of the best guys I know in Cleveland. And uh, Kim Coles is going to be there as well as, yes. as, as part of the She's one of the actresses on, on, on in, in television television yes. show. Uh, Saturday, May second, it's going to be at the Embassy Suites on Rockside Ro Rockside Woods Boulevard in Independence. And where can we get? And we got. I know where we can get tickets. What are the ticket costs? Do you know? Thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five bucks. Yes. Not bad at all. It's a good it, and goes for a good cause. Yes, definitely. Saturday, May the second, second. Embassy Suites on Rockside Woods in Independence. Yes. Thank you so much for being on the broadcast. No problem. And yeah. good luck to you. Thank you so. Much. Glad you're still with us, too. Thank you. Yeah. Me, too. <laughs> Good to have you with us, too, Doctor. Yeah, thank you so much okay. for having me. Dr. C. Sean Kawaja, a vascular neurologist at Cleveland Clinic, and Ernest Williams, the second, a stroke survivor. Yes. I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back in just a moment.